I want to show you a couple things about the trig functions that I find interesting about where a couple of them came from. And nobody ever showed me this, and I actually I found, I, I had a hard time looking it up. I couldn't really find find anything on it. I found very little information, so I, I just started fiddling around and, and figured a couple things out for myself. And I recommend that you do the same thing if you're, if you're curious. But for now, I'm going to show you a couple things. So here I've drawn the unit circle. So this length here is 1, which I've marked off. And then I've drawn a large triangle outside of it. And, and I have an angle here, theta. And what I want to do is I want to figure out what is, what, is this lar what is this hypotenuse? What is that length? And so what we can do is we can say that this is the hypotenuse of the large triangle, right? This is the hypotenuse. Okay, and we know that the cosine of this angle, the cosine of that angle, theta, is equal to the, hypo uh, the, the adjacent side, adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the adjacent side is just equal to 1, right? The adjacent side is equal to 1, so because that, that's the length of, of, this, this, of the adjacent side. I mean, it's the unit circle. So, okay, anyways. So the cosine of theta equals 1 over the hypotenuse. And now we can figure out what the hypotenuse is by multiplying by the hypotenuse and dividing by cosine. So essentially, these, these two are going to flip flip positions. So what we're going to end up with is the hypotenuse is equal to 1 over cosine of theta. And 1 over cosine, well we know that what that is. That's, that has a name. It's called secant. Secant theta. So this purple length here, the hypotenuse, is really equal to the secant of theta. Let me erase I probably have a more efficient way to erase that. I do. Okay, so this purple length is the secant of theta. So if you're ever wondering geometrically what the secant is, that's what it is right there. Now let's look at something else. What if we wanted to talk about the opposite side? What's this opposite side equal to? Well, to, to talk about the opposite side, we probably should now talk about sine. So we have the sine of theta equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse and the hypotenuse we know is is secant of theta so what we can do is we can multiply both sides by secant and we'll have have something that is equal to the opposite side so let's do that so multiply both sides by secant and we'll get secant theta times sine theta is equal to the opposite side we did that to get secant out of the denominator there. Okay. Well, secant really is 1 over cos. So this becomes 1 over cos of theta times sine of theta equals opposite. So we just rewrote secant there. And this is, of course, sine theta over cosine theta equals the opposite side. And sine theta over cosine theta, we know that that's tangent theta. So the tangent theta is equal to that opposite side. So this whole opposite side here is equal to tangent theta, its length. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. I don't know about you, but that's if you're wondering what the geometric interpretation of secant and, and tangent is, there you have it. Okay, see you in the next video.